Hello, doctor. Uh, my name is Karim, uh, and in this video, we're going to show you our uh, ERP Next website. Uh, okay, as an application to what was discovered discussed during the lecture, we are going to use the ERP Next, one of the open source in the ERP system, uh, to show the integration between the different uh, modules inside the organization uh, and have the impact on each other. Okay, first of all, uh, this is our group. Uh, Karim Tore, my name. Uh, my role is website manager, system manager. Uh, Omnaya, uh, manufacturing user, manufacturing manager. Uh, Noor Ahmed, stock user, stock manager. Farah, sales and fulfillment. Uh, Berna uh, is, is responsible for the accounts. Uh, and John is responsible for the procurement and purchase manager. Now, after uh, I've created the website, uh, we named it uh, Shirtex. Uh, it's a website that uh, manufacture clothes and textile. So first of all, I've added admins, users. Uh, for example, uh, Mirna, accounts manager, accounts user. Omnia, responsible for manufacturing. Jean is responsible for the purchase user, purchase manager. Farah, fulfillment user, sales manager, and sales user. Okay, after adding users, we are now going to insert basic data items. Uh, we will start with our main product t shirts. Okay, I am. A item group products maintain stock uh, opening stock will be 10 percent selling rate will be 50 page okay save Okay, now, now we are adding the reorder point. Draw for warehouses, request for finished, finished goods, reorder level uh, two, quantity 10. Manufacture. Okay, then we will save. Now we have to add the raw materials. Go to item name, for example, uh, textile. Item group, this will be as raw material. Item measure uh, in meter. Maintain stock, uh, for example, uh, Shireen. Selling price, uh, 10%. Okay, another raw material will be code 3, uh, color ink, item group raw material, measure machine, maintain stock, uh, 20 Bordeaux, selling price, something. For example, the zippers. It's also raw material. And last raw material. OK, 
Okay, after adding the raw materials and the main product, the t-shirt, uh, now we're going to make a new reorder point. Here, auto reorder, warehouses, finished goods. Uh, it says that when uh, the quantity is 10, we'll make a new order to refill the stock. We're going to save, so already saved. Now we will add another uh, final product. Code six, item name hoodies, uh, for example. Product unit maintain stock usher uh, selling price. Okay, now we're going to the final product t-shirts. We're going to make a BOM, bill of materials. Create new bill of materials for it. Item code one, quantity, quantity of item obtained after manufacturing. Uh, currency, variation rate. Okay, materials. Uh, here we choose the material used to produce one unit of t-shirts. So we will use textile and color ink. Textile, add row, color ink. So every t shirts now will use, uh, say, for meter, uh, two meter of textile uh, for 10, so that makes 20. And color ink will use one unit for five, so that 25 in total. Okay, then after checking the data, we will submit, save, and submit. Okay, now we've made uh, our bill of material for the product we will uh, manufacture. Uh, that's the t-shirt. Okay, now for the last step, uh, creating customers and suppliers. Uh, for example, uh, Mobaco company or customer group with their contact mail.com. For example, one number, primary address, uh, address line, so then. Street City Alexandria. This line two is a good country Egypt. Okay, now we are adding another customer. Uh, for example, uh, de facto company. Primary email. Primary address. City. Okay, I think another one. Okay, now we have uh, three customers added as follow. We are going to add now uh, suppliers. So 
employer name, for example, Fintex Supplier Group. Uh, this is a raw material supplier company. Yes, it is in full page. Currency in price, taxes. Okay, safe. Adding another supplier. Also a raw material supplier. Save. Okay, this will be yes, a local supplier and save. Okay, uh, now uh, we have three suppliers, uh, raw material suppliers, two raw materials and one local supplier. Also here we have customers, three customers, three different uh, company customers. And we have made our items. We have uh, four raw materials, uh, five sorry four and uh, one uh, a t-shirt product and one hoodie set for product and now after uh, we received the order from our customer uh, we will uh, make and create the sale order home selling sales order add sales order we will choose our uh, customer name de facto. The, the delivery date will be today. And then we will enter the code of, uh, of the item, number one. The quantity, 100. And this is the total amount. Then we will save and then submit. Yes. Uh, so after receiving the sale order, we have to begin the production. So we'll begin the production by, by doing the production plan. So we'll click on the production plan and then add production plan. And this uh, production plan is for a sales order. And uh, the um, uh, the order was the T-shirt. So the item code is one. And the customer is de facto. And we will manufacture this quantity at the same day. And this is the sale order. Then we will add the items to be manufactured. Then we will add the material that we will use to manufacture the required products. For manufacturing the t-shirts, we will need um, a raw material number two. And the required quantity for this material, it will be um, 200 meters because every t-shirt, every unit uh, requires two meters of the textile. So the required quantity of the total tex uh, textile will be uh, 200 meters. And then we will add the other item. The color ink.
And for every t-shirt, every t-shirt will need one unit, one bottle of the color ink. So it's 100 um, unit of the of the ink uh, to manufacture 100 units of the t-shirts. And then we will save, submit. Okay, and then we will um, uh, go to the work orders. Add work order to begin the manufacturing of this sale order. And the quantity is 100. Okay, so the source warehouse will be a work in progress and the target will be the finished goods. Okay, now we will save, submit. Okay, now we, we have to assign a workstation for the work order. So we will go to manufacturing and then we will find the, work, the workstation here and we will add a workstation. Let's name it new a workstation one. Okay, after this, we will do the operation part. Add operation. Okay, and, and uh, in this step, we assign the workstation one to operation number one. And then we will go back to the work orders. The work order is, uh, is perfectly uh, assigned to um, the workstation and the required operation. So we need to start it. After the manufacturing process, we go to work order. And we start the work order. The quantity is 100. We create it. Here is the new stock entry to convert the manufacturing, uh, to convert the raw materials to a manufacturing materials. We check that all the information are correct and that the raw materials are in work in progress. And we check that the total income value is correct. Then we save it. And submit. So now the uh, raw materials are converted to manufactured materials. Now we go to deliver the uh, t-shirts from the selling sales order. Here we are delivering the, the manufactured to the customer. We create a pick list. We check that all the information are correct. We save it. Submit. Now we create a delivery note with all the details of the shipments. 
and we save it. Now the t-shirts are delivered to the customer. So now we have to create a sales invoice from selling. Then sales order. Then we will create sales invoice. We check all information are OK. Then we'll save it and submit. Um, after the uh, saving sales uh, invoice, we uh, we choose the, the type of uh, payment from create payment. We choose cash. And we save it. To make sure that uh, the sales order uh, has been completed, we go to the uh, sales order. We can finally have the form. And we can print it or uh, save it or send it by email. And now as we are at the buying menu, we will request a quotation and create a new quotation. Then selecting the supplier. And we go down to select the items. So we have to uh, order some textiles and also some color ink and some bottoms. And we select quantities for each product. And now we save and submit. Yes, permanently submit. Then we go back to request quotation. And then back to supplier quotation. And we create we create a new supplier quotation. Select, we select some new supplier. Let's say Totex. And we choose an item and the rate for each item. Color in. And then bottoms. Oh no, number five. And we select quantities.
then we put the rate price. Seven. Eight for the bottoms. Then we go down to change with like the tax. Yeah, we go down and choose the purchase tax, Egyptian tax. And then we go and save and submit. Now we go back to supplier quotation and add another supplier quotation. As we choose supplier, we can choose Antex. And then select the item codes, two for textile. And then select rate item code 3 and item code 5 this 5 then we change quantities or prices first it's fine and then we change quantities 200 and five units and then another five units then we go down and select the tax And now we have to compare between the two supplier quotations. But first we save and submit. So we go back to supplier quotation. We have the two quotations for each supplier and we choose the cheaper. So Amatex is the cheaper. So we now have to go and create a purchase order requested by the date yes required by here yes and we save but before we can revise it yes all right all good Okay, we save and submit and that's it, yes. And now we will uh, make a purchase invoice uh, from buying and the purchase order. We choose it and we will uh, create invoice, which is invoice. We'll make sure that informations are correct. 
then we will save it and submit it. We'll choose the payment. Cash. And we will save. And submit. Now we will see the ledger. And here is the general ledger. This is the total. 